Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. We will be sharing information about OBI and the seafood processing position with you today. We'll have some time for you to ask questions later on, but you're welcome to submit questions throughout our presentation in the chat function. Um, my name is Carrie Meza, and I'm a Bristol Bay Regional Recruiter for OBI Seafoods. Um, so first off, who are we as a company? OBI is a product of a recent merger between two well-known companies in the seafood industry, Icicle Seafoods and Ocean Beauty Seafoods. Between both legacy companies, we have 167 combined years of processing history and experience, making OBI one of the largest seafood processors. We have a total of 10 processing plants, which are located in four different regions of Alaska, though this year only nine of those plants are operating. OBI employees initially land in Anchorage, Alaska before being transported to their assigned work sites throughout Alaska, with the exception of Petersburg. This is mainly due to our work sites being remote and requiring private charters. Our four regions have distinct recruiters that handle the hiring process for applications. The Bristol Bay is region has three plants located in Igigik, Naknek, and Wood River. Jorge Sombrano and I handle the recruiting in this region. Alex Herrera handles our next region, Kodiak Island, which also has three plants located in Alatak, Kodiak, and Larson Bay. In the Prince William Sound and Upper Cook Inlet region, Barry Putnicki helps staff two plants located in Cordova and Seward. Martha Johnson recruits for Southeast Alaska, which OBI only has one plant operating this year in Petersburg. Now let's talk about something that is very present in everyone's mind nowadays. We at OBI take COVID very seriously. Every employee will be tested prior to arriving to their work site and be required to complete a quarantine at an assigned location. Receiving an FDA approved vaccine will be a condition of employment as well. Additionally, OBI work sites will be operating in as close campuses this year for the protection of our employees and the communities in which we operate. All of OBI's production areas will be fully equipped to follow proper safety protocol as required by the state and corporate office. Employees will be expected to always wear masks and practice social distancing while employed by OBI Seafoods. Masks will be provided to employees at the beginning of each shift by their supervisors and additional ones will be available in case of damage. Each processing plant may also require additional precautions for their employees if they deem it necessary. Failure to comply with COVID policy puts others at risk and could result in termination of employment. Now let's talk about what the hiring process looks like for new applicants. In order to be hired, individuals must complete a series of steps. First, they must watch an introductory clip or attend one of the hiring events such as this one, and then complete the online application. We will be sharing the link where you can, find, where you can apply later today. Once your application is reviewed, you will watch a short video that answers frequently asked questions about the location you apply to, followed by a phone or video interview. These will be scheduled with the assigned recruiter based on your availability. Due to COVID, no interviews will be done in person. Once a regional recruiter has reached out to conduct your interview, you will then undergo a reference and background check. If all stages are clear, then a job offer will be extended to you and a person from your assigned location will reach out. Although our, our plants are in Alaska, OBI Seafoods is based out of Seattle, Washington. All employees are required to be in Seattle by their start date and will be responsible for their own travel arrangements to this point. Everyone is expected to follow all company policy from this point until the end of their employment period. Transportation from Seattle to Alaska and to individual work sites will then be arranged and paid for by OBI. The same goes for returning from Alaska for employees who finish their contract. Now let's talk a little bit about pay. Employees will be paid either through physical check or through direct deposit. They will select their preferred method for the season begins. Note the banks are not available at most locations. Regular pay will be $12.36 an hour this season and will cover the first eight hours of a shift for up to 40 regular hours a week. Overtime pay is $18.54 an hour and will cover anything after the first eight hours of a shift and anything after the 40 regular hours in the week. There is no limit on how many overtime hours an employee is allowed to work. However, hours are not guaranteed as they are dependent on fish flow. 
As I mentioned earlier, our work sites are remote as they are located in small villages or towns. There is poor signal with minimal access to internet. Recreational buildings are limited to what the work site can provide, and many of these have been limited further by COVID. Aside from small employee stores, there are no shopping centers. You'll be surrounded by beautiful Alaskan nature, which is often the main source of recreation during off time. But if you're anything like me, you can consider this a great time to unplug from the world. Living arrangements vary by location um, and housing is assigned upon arrival to work sites. Our buildings are all communal with dorm style bathrooms and an average of two to five people per room. Employees will be charged a room and board fee for any day in which they are work more than eight hours. However, employees who complete the season will receive two thirds of that charge back. Now for job expectations and work conditions. Employees are expected to be punctual and have a good work ethic. We expect everyone to prioritize their work and abide by OBI's policy guidelines. Employees should practice work safe habits and report any abnormalities and safety issues to their supervisors. We work in fast paced and potentially dangerous areas, so employees should always be aware of their surroundings in order to avoid any injury. Because we process raw food product, our work can be smelly, bloody, wet, and cold. It is repetitive in nature as you may be working up to 16 hours a day, seven days a week. It can be very physical as well. Employees will receive a break approximately every three hours, alternating between 10 to 15 minute paid breaks and 30 to 45 minute unpaid meals. Now, our employees come from all over the world, and as such, it makes our work sites diverse and multicultural. OBI is seeking individuals who thrive in this type of environment. We expect everyone to be friendly and respectful to others. There is zero tolerance for any type of discrimination and all negative and concerning incidents will be reported to HR for further investigation. Employees can also earn a $500 bonus by referring others to the processing position. New employees can refer up to four people and earn a bonus for each one. Those referred must mention their contact's name in their application and during their interview. And in order to earn the bonus, both parties must complete the season in good standing as well. Now I'm gonna hand it over to our recruiting manager who's gonna talk to you guys about some of our policies. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you, Carrie. My name is Chris Crockmo. As she mentioned, I'm the recruiting manager. And I just wanna talk about some of our policies. The first one is our drug and alcohol policy. Um, OBI Seafoods is committed to a drug and alcohol free workplace. We require employees to pass a drug screen prior to the start of their employment. Failure to uh, pass a drug test or a refusal of a drug test will uh, re result in automatic rescindal of the job offer. Um, the company pays for these drug tests, so you don't need to be paying anything out of pocket. The use, purchase, or transfer of uh, alcohol and or federally illegal drugs while on company property or while uh, engaged in company business, so on your contract, uh, will uh, result in immediate termination from violation of this policy. We do not uh, tolerate any forms of harassment. Uh, and this is the next policy I wanna go through, our anti-harassment policy. Uh, this includes uh, discrimination, um, uh, based off of somebody's uh, color, this, their skin, their race, religion, um, gender, sexual orientation, all of that. Um, we, we do not uh, allow for that. And then we also um, have uh, anti-retaliation policy. Um, so if there's any type of uh, hostile or offensive behavior that is happening, um, there will be an investigation uh, done by HR and um, any uh, evidence that shows that this policy has been violated will result in immediate uh, termination or disciplinary action. Um, violation of uh, any of our policies will result in, uh, can result in uh, termination of employment. Um, and if you are unable to complete the work agreement uh, because either you quit or you're terminated, uh, each employee is responsible for the transportation back home from Anchorage You'll also not be eligible to work at any of our other OBI seafood locations. You will also um, be forfeiting your reimbursement for room and board. And if you'd referred anybody to the job, uh, you will be forfeiting that referral bonus. Um, 
thank you again for, for watching the presentation. We're going to be continuing on here with the recruiters talking about the different regions they recruit for. And as you've heard, there's four different regions. And so this will be a good time for you to kind of hear and learn about each region uh, and for you to decide which place you would like to work. With that in mind, I'll pass it back to Carrie. Thank you, Chris. Um, so as I mentioned before, um, applications to the Bristol Bay uh, region are processed by George Sombrano and me. Um, located in Southwest Alaska, the Bristol Bay watershed provides vital habitat for 29 fish species, more than 190 bird species, and more than 40 terrestrial animals. Bald eagles, moose, brown bears, rainbow trout, freshwater seals, Pacific walrus, North, uh, North Pacific right whales and beluga whales all live in the region. I've gotten to see uh, bears, uh, seals and beluga whales in my time in Alaska personally. Um, Bristol Bay is the most productive, productive salmon ecosystem in North America and it is unmatched in its productivity. All five species of Pacific salmon, sockeye, chinook, coho, chum and pink spawn and rear here supporting wildlife like brown bears and eagles as well as human industry and culture. The watershed supports the largest sockeye salmon run in the world, producing about 46% of the world's wild sockeye harvest. Igigik is a small fisherman village in the bay with most of its population flying in for the season and leaving once the fish uh, runs out. It runs from approximately June 10th to August 10th and they process sockeye fillets, sockeye cans and sockeye roe. This is also the plant I work in over the summer as the dock lead. So if you end up in Igigik, you um, will see me out there over the summers. Um, and now George will talk to you about some of the other plants in Bristol Bay. I am Jorge Sombrano. I am the Bristol Bay Regional Recruiter. I'm going to share some information on the other two Bristol Bay plants. Our NADNIC facility located in the major fishery center runs from approximately June 15th through to August 1st. They process sockeye, as well as focusing on cans, HNG, which is heading and gutting, and roll. Over the summers, I'm also the safety manager at this location. A third plant, Wood River, which is located just outside Dillingham, Alaska, runs approximately between June 20th to July 25th. Like the other two plants, Wood River also processes sockeye, but their focus is on filet, roe, and fresh frozen salt fish. I wanna pass it on to Alex. Thank you, George. Um, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for being here with us. Uh, my name is Alex Herrera, and I'm the regional recruiter for OBI in Kodiak Island, and also the dock foreman in Larson Bay. Uh, let me just start by telling you a little bit about Kodiak Island and the three land plants that operate there. Uh, Kodiak uh, is also known as the Emerald Isle, and it is the second biggest island in the United States of America, with its largest community being in Kodiak City. Uh, OBI has a processing plant on Set City, and uh, it, it is actually one of the oldest and largest seafood processing plants on the island with over 110 years in operations. OBI Kodiak processes a wide variety of species on their year-round operation like pollock, halibut, uh, Pacific cod, salmon, and others. Their salmon operation focuses on fillets, cans, and HNGs. OBI has another plant on Larson Bay, which has been established in 1911. Uh, Larson Bay, just like Kodiak, uh, is one of the oldest active processing plants on the island. And uh, one of the most unique characteristics of Larson Bay is that there is a pink salmon run around our plant. So when the fish show up, there's pink salmon all around the plant, the bay, and the river. It's pretty cool to see. Uh, last but not least, we have OBI Altec, established in 1917. Um, they have successfully maintained year-round operations for almost 104 years. This plant processes a wide variety of species, but their main focus during the summer is salmon processing. A fun fact about this location is that, as you can see in the picture here, it's located at the base of a mountain called Twin Peaks, which makes it an ideal location for hiking and sightseeing. Uh, next speaking is my colleague, Barry, who will talk to you about our next region. Hello everyone, uh, thank you for attending this meeting. Thank you for expressing interest in OBI Seafoods. I'm Barry Putnicki, the regional recruiter for Prince William Sound, Cook Inlet region of Alaska. The two plants we have are Seward and Cordova. The first plant I'll discuss is Seward. 
Our season starts in middle of May and goes until early to mid-September. Our plant was established in 1972. It produces all kinds of uh, salmon species and both the frozen, uh, fresh and canned and row products. In addition to doing salmon products, we also do black cod, halibut, rockfish, and wing cod at the plant. Depending on the department you work in, you may get to work with some of those species during this summer. An interesting thing about Seward is that it's a major tourist center. We're about three hours south of Anchorage uh, on the Seward Highway. Our location in central Alaska and our proximity to Anchorage also makes us a major shipping and distribution center for the company. The second plant in my region is Cordova, which was established in 1978. Cordova only produces salmon. They do all salmon species with their biggest focuses being on sockeye and chum. They do frozen H&G salmon. They also do cans as well as grow products. Cordova is also about the same distance from Anchorage as Seward, about three hours driving. You will get to Cordova by plane, however. Passing it on uh, next to uh, Martha. Thank you, Barry. Hello, everyone. My name is Martha Johnson. I am the Southeast Regional Recruiter for OBI Seafoods. Uh, during the salmon season, I'm the Human Resources Assistant at our Petersburg plant, which is pictured here behind me. Uh, in Southeast Alaska, our company has two facilities, one in Excursion Inlet, also known as XIP, which is located near Juneau, Alaska State Capital. Our other plant is located in Petersburg, which happens to be my hometown and it is approximately 160 miles south of Juneau. The XIP plant will not be operating this summer, so if you would like to work in Southeast Alaska, Petersburg is your only option for assignments. I am responsible for making sure that our OBI Petersburg facility is fully staffed and prepared to operate for the summer salmon season. Our salmon processing season lasts approximately from July 1st through September 15th, which is the season that you will be applying for. OBI Petersburg is a land-based plant that operates approximately 10 months out of the year total. Our plant was established in 1899 and has been running continuously ever since. Here in Petersburg, we process several different types of seafood throughout the year, such as sockeye, chum, king, canned salmon, salmon burger, ikara, green roe, bait herring, herring roe, dungeness crab, black cod, halibut, and rockfish. Petersburg is a small community often referred to as the town that fish built with a population of 3,100 residents. It is located on the north end of Metcalf Island in the middle of the Tongass National Rainforest. The town is filled with small local businesses, rich traditions, and strong Norwegian heritage. Uh, thank you everyone again for taking the time to join us today. We look forward to seeing your application and speaking with you. Make sure to check your email periodically after you apply as it is our main form of communication. You can find the links to our applications and other contact information at the landing page provided by the New Mexico Workforce Connection. Do you guys have any questions for us? If so, you can ask them in the Q&A chat box. At this time, I will be turning the floor over to our human resources generalist, Krista Hall, to address questions that have been coming in through the Q&A chat. Uh, we actually have not had any questions come in, but it's great to be able to speak to you all. And thank you so much for attending our event. Uh, we definitely hope that you do follow through and put an application in so that we can speak with you one on one and answer any questions that you may have at that time as well. Thank you OBI for providing us with all this helpful information. Um, job seekers, if you guys have any questions regarding these positions, please feel free to also contact the New Mexico Workforce Connection Office at 575-524-6250 or you can visit us on the, or you can go online on our website at www.jobs.state.nm.us. And if you have any questions at the moment, please feel free to type them in on the Q&A box. We're also streaming live on Facebook. You can also ask any questions on the comments. Krista, at the moment, I don't think we have any questions, but if we have anybody calling for it, the positions you have available, we'll go ahead and refer them to OBI Seafoods. Thank you so much for all the information you guys provided us today.